Fall porcupine. Oh, there's options. Amazing. Very cute. Oh, I already hit new game. Didn't even hit options. Fall of Porcupine is set in a healthcare environment that contains plot points to deal with issues really in distress, illness, doubts, and stuff. Oh, boy. This is going to be a sad one. Hey, everyone, just warning. If it gets a little too uncomfy for you, uh, it's totally okay to back out. We're good to go, you know? And I will also pause it if I feel unwell. Okay? Let's all promise that. Oh, this is already cute loading screen. They didn't announce it. I don't think they knew announced a new Cyberpunk game. I think it's DLC. I'm pretty sure it's DLC. Hey, ever you know, I don't know what's happening. It looks like something's exploding. Oh. Uh. Do I walk? Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, I could jump. Oh. Oh. Hey, Funly. Nice to see you at last. This doesn't have voice acting. Oh, no. Um game what button what button do I hit there's no prompt send help send help do I have to plug in the controller do I plug in the controller oh no <laughs> I'm gonna plug into the controller. There's five my line books, but few go in between stories like collecting a short story and exploration of the setting. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, oh, I think I hit the A button. No, I didn't. I hit the X button. X. Why the long face? No reason. I, I wasn't expecting to run into my house plant here. Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? Okay. The Okay. I miss the lighthearted music, by the way. Oh, by the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. Oh, no. I don't know. I, I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? Is he turned on by the washing machine? Is my houseplant turned on by the washing machine? I don't... I... What is happening? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I lost it. Oh. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. That's what I say all the time. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on. Relax. Take a look at this meadow. The lush grass. The bright, warm sun. This wonderful, soothing mu What music? Does anyone hear any music? Should I put this up louder? Because it's just birds. Hold on. Okay. I put it up like halfway. Hopefully it's not going to uh, start screaming at us. How can you worry when you see that? See, yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure if I hear any music though. Okay. Finley understands. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Okay. There we go. Better? Oh. Yes. Yes. I like this. I also like this. Cool Amundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes. Uh, yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Are we... 
lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I wanna pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feather. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. Okay, did anyone else think that this was supposed to be a porcupine? Fall a porcupine? I thought the main character was gonna be a porcupine. Don't ask me why I thought that. But I, I 100% did. I'm putting the music a little bit down. Because it, it needs to be a little lower, I think. I don't know why I thought it. I don't know why I thought it. We sports players. I don't- I didn't know why I thought it was a porcupine. Oh! Houseplant number two? Oh! Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? Um... Person? Is it a person? Or was I just looking for something? What? Oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? We're all having a great time, am I right? So... What are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him? That's Hugo. I love Hugo. He's not He's not the porcupine. Maybe he's not, you know. The porcupine is certainly not the doc. In a theory, anyway. Okay. Okay. You, know, you never know. This might be he, great to climb around. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since he, I got... Apides? Apides? Maybe maybe the pork fight's gonna come out of somewhere. Or maybe pork of a field a fides. A fides. What the fuck is a fides? Um maybe the pork is like the name of the town. Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Aphids. Fids as... Okay, see? I got it. I got it. We got it. But what is that? Hold on. We have to sort of no time. Okay? Just... Oh. Pass. Uh... Do you remember books? I'm absolutely I do. It's the old queen's... Oh! That, like, we it looks like Starfire's pet. Oh my god, what's our file pot pet name? Something with an S. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. No problem, the whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. Silky! Yes! Yes. He prides himself on his great foliage, foliage, you know? Yep, got it. Understood. Thank you, flower. Can I? Oh. Hello, Finstar. I thought she was just called Wormy. I thought it was Silky. Maybe that was just Beast Boy. Yeah, I thought it was... I'm pretty sure it was Silky. Hello, Finstar. Oh, I just read that. Up here. Oh, how did you get all the way up here? I'm a plant of many talents. Also, the flower pot is up there. I'm not allowed to climb up here anymore, so I had to climb up. I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I just want to dive in the water? Seriously? I thought you were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe that's what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Okay, let's go. Let's jump. Whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more of a particular shape shade kind of die. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Oh, because it's a plant. Haha. <laughs> Chicken. You're a pigeon. Oh, I, I got off screen. Oh, fuck! Oh, god. It's an underwater level? I didn't even think this had levels like this. 
Hey, dude. You made it after all. You know me, I never pass up on a good time. Are you alright? I'm going to catch a cold. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my taxes. What is lovely? I don't know what you're going on about. No, no. I don't like the water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. I mean, I'm assuming this is salt water. So I would assume that this is not good for the plant. Actually, maybe we could get out of here. All right, all right. You're the one who's taking up all my valuable time. Oh, look, a little like fountain or something. Oh, I have to talk to it. Isn't that a statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. Am I going, am I not having a good time? I feel like I'm not having a good time. Finley is not having a great time, I don't think. Oh, I'm going to the beach. Beach eats the Finmeister. There you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, uh, who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in? There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything about me. Who are you again? Finley, you live with me. Pinya, Pinya? Pinya gave, gave you to me. You're her, you're from her flower store. Finley, fondly, dingly, dongly. I, it's, it's all the same to me right now. Oh yeah. This place seems kind of filmy. Finley, where are you right now? What do you think is going on, Finley? Are you in a dream? Are you, what is happening? Have you been here before? Maybe not like this. You sure you have some strange notions? You'll find what you're looking for yet? No, but I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower. Your <laughs> dick's small. Okay. No. No, Finley is going through a mental breakdown and my dick is big. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in such a long time. I, I'll be right over there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for on the beach. All right, don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not aloe vera. I, you know what? I played some of the pre, like the pre-log, pre whatever, like a demo that they came out with. And this is definitely not what it started off as, by the way. Nice. Oh, thank you, Kit the Goblin Bot. Oh! Uh, oh? Where? Can I sit here? They look like chairs. Where the fuck is going on? Ooh, secretary? Hippo? Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... Where Mr. Arndez is? You can't make fun of me for that. Mr. Arndez. I was looking for Mr. Arndez. He's a patient of ours, and he's disappeared. I was taking the elevator, and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndez. Arndez. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations, but I got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndez. Okay, we're looking for Arndez. Moldy, what's up? We're going, we're killing it. Oh, can I walk past this? Oh, I can. There's no going further here. Why does it smell like blueberry? Ooh, blueberry pudding? That sounds disgusting. All right. All right, okay, okay. The music is pretty and terrifying. Oh, what the fuck? Am I? Okay. Are we in real life now? Mr. Arndez has to be here somewhere. Are we alive? Hello, Mr. Arndez. Can you hear me? Is this the last of us? Is that a moose? I think so. 
Or is this portal? Where? I can't move. I can't move a box. That's good for puzzling. Like, I don't have to ever deal with, like, moving obstacles, which is nice. Oh, I can float! Dude, I'm Mercy. Mercy. Should have been Mercy. Should have been any type of support. Oh. Hello, is someone there? There's boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Uh, there's someone back there. Is this a zombie? Mr. Arndez, is that you? Oh, there's blood on the floor. That's blood. It's still fresh. I... Why am I nervous? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's a... Mr. Arndez, you're bleeding. Don't move. Uh... What? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm gonna help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Oh, am I? Okay. Uh. I can't do anything. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of text messages. Send me your number, blah, blah, blah. Finley, have bad the injury, just resting up for a few days. Don't worry, just be careful, blah, blah, blah. Good morning, maybe we'll have time to chat, and then you can tell me what happened. Okay. Oh, I like mom. Let's go. I'm not going to read all that. Oh, there's like a lot. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of shit. Man, another one of those weird dreams. Okay, it was a weird dream. Let's go. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. It, the camera's like slowly moving back and forth, and I hate it. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. Oof. He was dreaming. I knew it. It's so... This is such a weird game. I didn't expect any of this. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Oh, we have a boo-boo. What's a dream? Wake up from Finley's nightmare. That was just the achievement. Oh. That's the bird. Uh, not the bird. What the fuck? The flower. There you are. Just standing there as your product and nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's all right for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in my pot tonight, there'll be trouble. Yeah, it's definitely not porcupine. Definitely not a porcupine. Oh! Oh, that was cute. That was a cute little transition. Porcupine isn't good. Isn't big, but it's still kind of... Okay, so it is a t a t uh, name of the town. It's still a name of the town. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you, Finley. Can we leave? No leaving? Nope. That's the phone button. Can I... Oh, we're leaving this way. That's a closet, I assume. Okay. It's really not going to tell me that I'm going the wrong way. Nope. We're just going for it. I just picked a decision. Picked a direction. This does remind me of Night in the Woods. Like, a lot. But I don't think it's made by the same people. Oh. Kind of nice watching the train chug off into the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. I... I do love trains. I love a good train. Oh, I can go down the sewers with my 
I'm not wearing any shoes. Ooh, what's this? Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note to the camp chair. Dear readers, time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny. I call it chaos, order, and life. And you see, seeing this note right now are, and you seeing this note right now are a part of it. Consider yourself lucky, but please do not sit in my chair. I'll know right away if you take my place. Regardless, F. Regards, regardless. Oh my God. Ugh. Hmm. Looks like this was already reserved. Okay. Well, it is not the same creator. Hmm. Critical rabbit developed this game. Huh. Was anyone interested in this game? Because I saw this game and I was like, oh, this is Night in the Woods and also my type of game. Heather, were you into it? Were you, were you going to play this game? Or are you going to play this game? All right, let's go the right way. Thank you for the hydrate. I always need more water. Okay, I can't talk to everyone. I was waiting for the prompt to come up. Let's be there since I moved in. So either someone moved in, forgot it, or it's not a biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Oh, that's nice, I guess. Oh, the dog is a mailman. Oh, there's a cat. Hi. Morning, Finley. Running late. Hey, Susie. Sussy? I want to call it Sussy. Sussy? Yeah, had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at all, but sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard Lo uh, Lois Colbert is having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm already, I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd route routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. Got it. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Oh, and then I got a little new note. Sussy. Great. This is the... Thank you for the lurk, Vec. I know you're chilling. This is legit the first time I've been hearing this game. I'm experiencing it through you. I saw it at like, I don't even know, Summer Game Fest or maybe one of the old E3s when they were doing E3s last year. Do I need to get a bus? Oh. With few parts of it, our walking is a better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us soon. Suits me just fine. Why, why did I buy a monthly pass in the month? If the bus only turns up once a month. That's true. Oh, that's a... Ch oh. Uh, is this the church? Am I supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to go to the hospital. I'm assuming I have to go to the hospital. I guess I shouldn't have assumed that this is going to be like all fun and games because the, it reminds me of Night in the Woods and Night in the Woods is also, oh my god, Butter Dog. Thank you, Butter Dog, for the hydrate. The too much hydrate. I can't wait to use the restroom halfway through this stream. I would assume that I'm going to... I shouldn't have assumed that this is all going to be a fun games kind of thing. Because it reminds me of Night in the Woods. And Night in the Woods is also not fun in games. Oh my god, butter dog. I also have soda today. Oh, look at her! Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, no, no. I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. <laughs> this is me. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. 
So you're a doctor? Yes. Well, almost. A junior doctor. What the fuck is a junior doctor? That's marvelous. Is it just an intern? Or like a resident? Like in house? People- No, not in house. In Grey's Anatomy that I've never watched? People like you are just what a porcupine needs. My name is Adele. Vaughn Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I love you. And I've seen many people come and go. Some were in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometime, I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if, always ask me if you have any questions. I might take you up on that. Oh, thanks for the offer. Oh, I love her. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than you to keep me alive here. Okay. Adelaide. Got it. Understood. Adele. Not Adelaide. What the flip? Understood. Great. Hi. Sorry, I had an itch on my nose. Good morning. Oh my god. Goo. Go, go, and uh, go, go, mm. Juliano, 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 sounds great. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much. The band-aid gives it away. Everything is good, everything good with you? I'll be alright, yeah. I'm sure you will. You want to uh, you want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by any time. Oh, this is the tavern. This is like a little tavern. Thanks, Juliano. I might just take you up on that. Look. Oh. Oh. Amazing, actually. Oh, wow. This is great! I love this! Wait, 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 I wanna get to video. Oh, wow, great, okay. Can I just see, oh, wow, I love this! We love accessibility features, this is great, okay. All right, good to know, good to know, good to know. Oh, this is the fountain. Can I talk to the fountain? That's the big town fountain. It's a statue of, oh my gosh. Neo Slav Hon, Hon, Honor, Hon or Aureus, the founder of Porcupine. Oh, he's a porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why, why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. Oh, well, maybe it will be fixed. Maybe we can fix it. Hey, the names in this game are going to kill me, I think. Oh, this looks like a hospital sign. I Maybe. Oh, this rusty old truck wasn't here when I came to work. It's locked too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, old rusty old truck? treasure perhaps a dead body maybe even 10 dead bodies is there a super secret alien technology inside you are you the truth of all things the answer the greatest question of the universe come on reveal your secrets hey it's the answer is 42 finley just oh can i go up there that looks nice i can and i will hills are no match for finley i can't say it Benches are a fucking match for Finley. Why can I not sit? Okay. First of all, terrible game. <laughs> Zero out of a hundred. Can I look at the bike? No. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you so much, Finley. You did the Lord's work there. I can look at this plaque. I can look. There's a plaque on the tree. Wow. Thank you. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation, fo fo foundation of the town of Porcupine. 
bro. Nino, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a home. And on that day, he went... He wanted to move in. He lost his keys. 40 days later, he found it on this very spot. Okay. Sounds like something I would do. I... I don't think so. I don't think I would just build a house, lose the keys, and then was like, ah, let me plant a tree here. Finley has one enemy, and it's just trying to sit down on things. I'm not going to read about the bus stop again. Oh, St. Ursula's Hospital. This is where I work. You squeal, you we heal. Wow. For 40 days and 40 nights. I can't sit. Oh, I can stand! Hi, bear. Oh, this statue's out here every day. I, from dusk to dawn, from dusk, from dawn to dusk, come rain or shine, it's never complained. How do you do it? How do you do it, Mr. Bear? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. Well, a guy can dream. I, amen, Finley. Amen. Oh, oh, look, you can see, look, you can see your reflection. I miss jumping in puddles. I should do that more often. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's a parking spot. This is a flat as fuck car. What happened to this car? Mood, Finley. Mood. Dude. What what happened here? What is driving this? I, a turtle? I should really get to work. Understood. I, I, I don't know what's driving that. An alligator. All right. Give me a scalpel, doctor. I'm ready for surgery. The good old vending machine. A handy source of breakfast or end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started. But hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a Choco dog right now. Dude, Choco Tacos, I used to love those things and they discontinued it. And I was so heartbroken. Just like they've been doing since before I was born. What? And still it will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, aliens will... Beings will dig up this vending machine. What was in this machine? Per what is this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created this? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. I never had one. It was good. Oh, I love the change. They did it. Oh, this is a... Fuck. Fuck. Mm. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning. Oh, Ingrid. Got it. Ingrid. Yes, my injury is healing up nicely now. I heard about your a accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Um. All right. Sure, sure. This sounds a little bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now. But it must have, done to, must have had something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing around here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of a phenomenon. Oh my gosh. What? The term is... Klutz. Ingrid. Holy fuck. You never had one, Heather? They were so... They were... Well, they were. They were so good. Just kidding, kiddo. How's Mr. Arn Arndez? 
The old dude's the old duffer is still alive. Making himself cozy his bed on your ward again. Huh. Okay. I'm really glad to hear that. We've only been here a short while, but because of that night, people na know you now. You're the boy who survived. Very funny. Hee hee hee. But seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. It's still steaming. I need to swing your butt over to your ward. On the third floor, in case of the debt in your noggin caused your more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then before Mr. Oh my god. Krokovitz. Krok. Oh, it's. Rips off your head. You're right. I'll get going. They were so good. The Choco Tacos were so good. I wish. I wish. Oh, I want to read that. Wait, wait. I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, great. I could take the stairs. Oh! What are you? Who are you? Did you run into a wall? No, I had an accident a few days ago. Ah, uh, you're the new guy. Frankie, Philip, Franco, Finley. Finley! Right, right. Heard about your little episode. Seems like you could kind of seen. Still look on the bright side. Oh, look how sad Finley looks. Oh, I feel bad. With how rotten everything is up uh, there, you're lucky you didn't fall through the floorboards. You would have landed right in our ward on the fourth floor. I'm Anton. Uh, Anton. Nurse upstairs in the internal, internal medicine too. Anyway, I gotta go. Mind your step, funky. Wow. What the fuck? Um, I think I'm just gonna take the stairs, maybe. Oh, hello. Oh, just disappeared. We're gonna take a set. We're gonna take the stairs. If we can. Yes, we can. Hey, dang. Such a, I mean, I don't even know what's going on, but I have a feeling this is going to get sadder before it gets happier. We're going to the fifth floor. Santa's Ho. We love Santa's Ho. Santa Ho was around for a little bit for, for just the... Oh, this is fucking dark up here. Why am I in the shit fucking... Everything's so dark up here. This ward isn't in use. I don't really want to go in there. That one is it was more than enough. Oh, we're actually our floor is not that. Our, is this our floor? I should go for my ward first. I did not pay attention what his ward was. Is this his ward? Yes, it is. Bro, all the subtle like nods are so wild. I'm just vibing, editing, and watch stream, and oh my god. Dude, this was this outfit was around for like a very very I think it was like only a week, really. Like I only probably streamed like twice knowing me. Oh, coffee. I can't go in the coffee room. Okay. Or I guess the break room. Oh, hello. I love this art style so much. I think it's so cute. This is the stairs. Oh. Okay. I don't like them already. Um. Okay. Ah, Finley, half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just like that. Just what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come. Yes, I'm sorry. I. The bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Mr. Crow. Kovitz. There's not too much trouble. We'll start our rounds on room 301. Okay. 301. 301. Got it. 301. Let's go. Oh! Is this a bear? Oh, no. This is not the patient. Bye, pa bye other person. This is the patient. So here's Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Ah, uh, Miss Martin. A woman after my own heart. Oh. Well, we just got fucking side-eyed. Miss Martin is in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. 
but you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin. C came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdominal. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in my heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. And I was in so much pain I could hardly move. Yes, that was the exact right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. Uh, yes. Ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or is that your answer? Oh, wow. I, this is, I used to have a teacher like this in college. Oh, boy. I hate it. I already hate it. It's bringing me back to, like, me, like, the self-doubt of every day of, like, I don't want to raise my hand for this answer. I don't want to hear them talk. That's my answer. Bingo! The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check up on your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue to room 303. Chop, chop. Look smart. Got it. We're leaving. Bye, other guy. 303. 303. This one. You guys are not as fast as I am. You guys gotta catch up. Oh, another person that we're not helping and they're sleeping. Oh, well, Larissa, how are you today? Quite okay, Doc, Doc, Doctor Ski, Doc, Doc, Ski. That's good to hear. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us, like last night? That's right. Careful. I don't, I don't hear any coughing. No problem. That was very good. How, uh, how's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. I love Dr. K. Let's stick with Dr. K. Well, I was down at the school with the others, and we were in the back of the skate park, and I can't skate that well. And I only just got a skateboard for my birthday, but I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels, and the grip tape is all black, and it's brand new. And I heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. But yes, very, very good. But what were you doing? Why, but what were you all doing down at the school? Oh my god. Ah. Well, er. Uh, it was like this. My buddy, Christo, stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. And he said, if you want to be a good skater you gotta smoke too it's part of the deal he said well your friend's kind of a shithead I really didn't want to but I didn't want to feel like a chicken you know and I was still out of breath from practicing and he lit the cigarette and I took a drag super gross I don't know why grown-ups seem to like those things understandable anyway I took a drag and then all of a sudden I couldn't breathe I coughed I coughed and I coughed and I couldn't get in the air it sounds like asthma then I passed out luckily my friends called the ambulance quickly so yeah that's about it really thank you Larissa you explained it very well. Well then, care to share your opinions by value colleagues? Uh, what do you think, Finley? Hmm. I know. Dr. K already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay, sorry. Hee <laughs> hee. Asthma. See? See? Finley knows. Could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought it. Oh, my assistant, Larissa. Yeah. Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercise, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. K. Okay, last stop for the day. P33. Oh, and Finley? You already know this patient. It's... Oh, Mr. Ann Arn... Arn... Des. Arn Des. I assume that may... Yes. Yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. And is an old timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Un understood. Dr. K. Also, I'm a doctor. I knew that was asthma. P33. Oh, this way. Oh. 
P33, P33, P33. Okay. So what's the trauma that's going to be brought this up to see Mr. Ar Arndez? Nice. Okay. Oh, there's no one else in this room. Oh. Everything will just be okay. It will just be fine, Mr. Arndez. This matter is very important to me and I'll ensure it gets resolved quickly and you can rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. K, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Heinrich. To what do we owe the honor? Well, I, Mr. Andres, of course. I heard he was on the on the mend. I have to say I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know you that, yes. And I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective, but I was also very worried for our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you. It's go It's great to have you back, truly. I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the incident. Nobody at St. Ursula does. St. Ursula er itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we're taking a personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arndes to receive the best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place at the very best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after around the clock, and the rest of us will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped you into this morning, Dr. K. Oh my god. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you want me to do me a favor and assess Mr. Andre's conditions later on today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange for the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, then I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Ugh. I stepped away for five-ish minutes. What did I miss? So... We took care of Larissa, who has asthma after smoking a cigarette at the skate park because all of her friends wanted to do it because that's how you make good skaters. And now we're talking to Mr. Andres right here. And I guess Mr. Heinz he is an insurance guy. This um, honey badger type person. Hi, Chrissy. Me and, and the puppy are watching. Hi, puppy. Hi, Chrissy's puppy. I don't remember. I'm so sorry, Bubba. I don't think I remember your name. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. And nothing's coming up. Chrissy, what's the name of your puppy? Milo. Hi, Milo. You're doing so well. You got your good puppy. I love you very much. Got a lot of head pats and, and T R E A T S. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Chrissy, how are you? How's things? Oh, Atlantis is so good. I fucking loved Atlantis. I want them, if I. I don't want a remake. I do not want like a live action remake, but of that one, I want a live action remake of treasure planet. Cause I thought that would be really cool. But, uh, Atlantis, I just want them to like acknowledge that they made it. That'd be great. That'd be great. He was like, who me? When he said his name, Oh, Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, God. Atlantis is so good. I cannot... I remember... I need to rewatch it, honestly. Because the, the woman... I had almost a bisexual awakening. Well, not almost. I definitely had a bisexual awakening. Was the mechanic girl? F fuck. Mechanic girl and Audrey. Yes. And... Oh my god, is his name Teddy? The medic. Something not tiny. It was something like so different from what he looked like, and it was funny. Dr. Sweet. 
Dr. Sweet. I, I almost, in my head, I said Candy. And I was like, no, I think Candy is a stripper name. Because I was thinking with an I, too. But no, it's Dr. Sweet. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. R. Arndez. You know my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndez. Well, what are you doing here, then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then. Go ahead. Finley? Mm, yes. Mr. Arndez suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffers a moderate concussion. Finley, would you like to be as kind as to change Mr. Andres' dressings? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. Fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. Got it. Understood. Right now? You can ask Mr. Andres if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. He can't be any worse at you than at it than you. All right, I'm doing it. Uh, I love Mr. Candy. Oh. Look, I'll, like I said, I don't want them to remake Atlantis live action. I think it's going to, it's going to be bad. I think personally, but like, I would love it to be in the center eye of people. Like people be like, Oh, I remember Atlantis or like the new kids would like kind of like watch it and stuff. I wouldn't know how they fuck would they would do that without just remaking the entire process. But I definitely want that. It'd be fucking amazing. And the same thing with fucking Treasure Planet. I want Treasure Planet to be remade. I don't know how because fucking seeing that live action, I'm, I don't even know if it's going to be good. But I want it. I need it. Ugh. Good morning. I'm very pleased to see you. Uh, I don't think they would, because it wasn't a, it wasn't a box office, but I feel like now as we grew up, like as, as the, those kids in that, like whatever section of the Disney time, um, has grown up, it can make a lot more money now of people rewatching it, you know, Treasure Planet was so fucking good. I fucking love Treasure Planet. I love, if I ever, if I want to have a TTS at some point and I want it to be like. Uh, morph. I want a little like creature like morph. Because I fucking loved morph. That shit was so fucking cool. Hmm, do I know you? Yes, maybe? There was an accident. Do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndes? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard for Mr. Andres. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. Oh, fuck. I had to do this? Fuck. Fuck. Uh, your patient is in your hand. Please hold on the button shown on screen to measure treatment. Fuck me. Okay, I have to actually remember where the controls are. A, X, Y, B. A, X, Y, B. Make sure you press the button shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible. Don't release any of the buttons as long as... Don't release any of the buttons as long as they're displayed. Okay. Un understood. Oh, I have to hold it. How do I do... Oh. Hey, this is difficult. Okay, I did it. Oh my god, that was difficult. I have to remember where all the buttons are. This, I'm gonna fuck that up so many times if it has to go faster than that. Oh no. Oh god, I'm gonna kill someone. Uh, it's fine. We're fine. That's a future problem. Uh, wouldn't trust the cult faulting would be good enough. They've remade the guaranteed film so far. I'm, I haven't watched The Little Mermaid yet. Um... And the only reason that's stopping me from watching The Little Mermaid is Melissa McCarthy being Ursula. Because Ursula, Ursula is my favorite Disney villain. And I, I in my head, 
don't want to see Miss Melissa McCarthy. I really just don't want to do that. Because I feel like it's so fucking weird. But I want to see Lil Murray. Like, oh, why did they have to do the villain as Miss Melissa McCarthy? Why does it have to look like Miss McCarthy? And why, why, why is she the villain? I just don't. I don't understand the thought process there. I hate it. I'm gonna watch it, but I fucking cannot do Ms. L Melissa McCarthy as fucking Ursula. Uh, plus, I would worry about getting. Oh yeah. Lady and the Tramp, that's tr like, it's going to be a Lion King. It's going to be Lion King, but Lady for the and the Tramp, right? It has to be. Right? It's going to be the shitty Lion King remake with it looking like the actual animal, and it's just going to be voice actor by, I don't even know, more Melissa McCarthy, maybe. Oh, oh God, what the hell? I It's bad. They're just going to be rather average. I, feel, I thought I did pretty good. I thought I did pretty good. I'm happy with the condition of the wound. Okay, thank you. I'll be back later to check your uh, dressings, I'm assuming. There's a chance he'll be just charge you very shortly. That'd be nice, Miss K. Doctor. No, no, no. I'm not a doctor. I'm just absolutely an old fool. Oh, dear. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you your task for the today's shift. Got it. Understood. I haven't seen another movie. Yeah. I just... Having a, uh, having a nephew who's obsessed with Disney animation, I watch all the remakes now. Any new Disney film that's coming out, I'm watching it. It's happening. We're sitting down on the couch and watching it three times in a row. And I fucking cannot, like... Lion King used to make me cry, the animation. Now the new one, I'm just like... Okay. That, okay, alright, sounds good. I don't know. There you are, back at full health, I trust? Yes, all good. I'm glad to be back at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's task in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in those electronic patient records, but Hydrich and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards now have to use this app. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self explained They don't have smartphones in a, in a hospital, right? Downloading today's schedule. I might. I don't really know. Oh. Oh, I have to... Okay. All right. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything that you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's task. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try and make an effort, okay? I don't... Okay. 301. No, this is PP. PP is down to this section. Okay. Yeah, this snow leopard kind of sucks. I, I will say already. Hey. Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. I'd rather we make somewhere, we make it somewhere else next time. Hopefully. Yes, I prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know, I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Do you have heart, he heartburn? I always have heartburn. Had it for years. Yes, the stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months, and I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter, and my job's got me pulling my hair out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Hmm, no, I, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky to came to us so early, and that's good. Last night's test showed that you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think it will help. All right, let's see then. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. 
prescribe the right medication. Try to get all the med patients reading to their optimal level using a little medication as possible. Each time medication checks two different readings. Once you're satisfied with the medication, okay. How do I, how do I make it lower? Oh, that's how you make it lower. Got it. Understood. Understood. Okay. All right. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Orange looks good. Blue is too high. This one looks good, right? Oh, maybe. No. Hmm. That looks good. Now, is there a medication that makes blue go down? Hmm. Fuck, this is hard. Oh, no, I don't want to do Okay, 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 okay. That looks good. This looks good. Nah, that doesn't look good. This looks good. Done. No. Hmm. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. This is difficult. I need like plus blue. Oh my gosh. Oh, do I have it? I think I got it. We're good. I dev I second guess myself. Okay, why didn't I get an A plus? What the fuck? I deserve the plus. Well, you should feel... That should have you feeling better in no time. Hell yeah, I did it. I'm smart. I'm big brained. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Oh, Bubby. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. Good night. A brain as big as your pee, -pee. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. 33. We're going to go talk to Larissa, I think. And that had... She had asthma. I think. Yes. Asthma. Hi, Doc. What's your name? Hi, Larissa. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you for the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay. Whatever you say, doctor. I like to listen to your lungs. You mean what you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time, but only for a moment. You think you can manage that? Dude. The cold thing on your chest to hear your lungs, it sucks. Hi, Strictly! How are you? How's things, Strictly? I'm doing well. I'm a doctor now, do you see? I'm a I'm doctor. I'm doing the doctor thing. I do have horns. This is part of the outfit. I brought back all my uh, special outfits for my birthday month. So they're going to be going away on the 30th. But right now I have horns. This is for my Christmas. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. 
I'm doing well. Press the button shown on the screen at the right moment. Oh, fuck. Hold the L button when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Oh, this is like music. Oh, understood. I got it now. Oh. You have to like let go of the A button. Can I do it again? Or did I get an A? I got an A. Yeah! Happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. I'm tur I turned. I'm turning. Haha. <laughs> I'm 30. Dude, I did it. That was only cold for a second. Holy Pee cow. Your penis is gigantic. Hell gigantic. yeah. Your penis is literally the biggest thing within the tri-state area. Thank you, Chrissy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. What did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa. There's a little faint rattle. A rattle? Like a musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. Aw. But I didn't swallow it, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is it... Is that bad? Uh, have you heard of asthma? Yes, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? No, no, no. Don't worry. It could be asthma, but we're running some more tests. And if it is asthma, then there's nothing to be afraid of. Promise? I promise. Okay. Try to make yourself comfortable as possible here. I'll check up on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. Okay. That was not the right thing to say to the, the thing. We were supposed to say, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. I l I'm learning. I'm learning. Strictly, how are you? How's things? How's work? How's, I don't know, life? How's all of it? I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday night. Good morning, Miss Hel Helmage. You just have a thyroid surgery, right? How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. Oh, boy. That's very understandable. Please take it easy, then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you just had surgery, but once the wound has healed a little bit, the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again, no problem. That would be nice. I hate to have to spend the last days of the year stuck in here. We'll make it sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings and take a quick look at your sutures. Sutures? Sutures. Okay. Alright, it's paying attention time. A. Oh, A, X. Y. B. X. X. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh! Did I do it? Am I doing it? Hello? I'm holding it. Game! Game! I'm holding it. That was bullshit. That was, everyone saw that doctor. That was bullshit. I do not deserve a C. I, it, I, I deserve an A. Teacher, I deserve an A. Who the fuck did it? I'm going to start looking for a new job. Oh, good job. Uh, you know, hopefully you got something good. Hopefully you get paid for what you deserve and you could find something really fun. I need to get into editing though. I've been so lazy. I fucking hate editing. But it's worth it. It is worth it. I think it's because you had the LT before the hay and that's why it didn't take. It's fucking bullshit, Heather. Can I do it again? Can I dress you again? I don't think I can. Fuck. 
Trying to talk as little as possible, though. Understood. Okay. I'm so sorry that I dressed you wrong. I'm I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't. You can't even see the look. This is the patient. It's like a little like little like lion, maybe little cat, little cat. Should I put Should I put myself on this side? Because I feel like, but I'm I'm looking this way to look at the monitor. It's gonna look weird. Like it should be here. You know what? Let's hope that we have people on the other side. If not, I'll switch my shit over. Virtue also, thank you. Don't worry. I thought you did that well. I thought so too! And I got a fucking C! Where is the person? Is the person over here? Is Miss uh, Dr. K? Nope. Oh, can I go to the bathroom? The, the ward bathroom. If you're lucky, it's clean. Ugh. Sometimes you can hear the faint whimpering noises coming from the stalls. I've been told that it's completely normal. Okay. I can, I can do it. Let me, do, let me see. Let me do, 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 do. I can mirror my motion. So now I'm looking on this side. Or, or, if I'm feeling spicy. Oh. I can just turn around and not look. Or flip it this way. Oh. Actually, I don't think I can flip it all. Oh, don't look my... Up, up my shirt. That would be rude. I don't think I can flip horizontally. This is fucking bullshit. I never even saw, thought of this. This is... Why can I not flip? Let me let me do a backflip. Do a backflip. Fuck. How do I do that? How can I do that? Um, I could spin. I could spin. Do you like me spinning? Do you like it? <laughs> I can't do a back flip or a front flip. Don't look. I can't. I don't know. This is... I don't understand why I can't do this. Alright, well, you know. Alright, let's see if that works. I want to do a flip, though. Maybe I'll ask Meg. Maybe I'll ask Meg. Maybe she knows how to flip. Flip for... Oh, can I flip this way? Can I do this one? Do I have to hold control? Nope. Nope. No, I can't. Fuck! Alright, well, you know. I tried. I tried. Oh, I'm not really, like, centered anymore because I was fucking around too much. Can you guys believe it? Can you believe that I'm not centered? Weird. Wild. Actually, I can't. This is me looking, by the way, straight at the camera. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That doesn't look that bad. Okay. All right. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Let's see. Oh, hi. All done. Good, good. How was it? Ah, uh, the dressing was not great. Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Please don't grade me. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got... No. I got a B. Fuck. <sighs> Average performance. That's unfortunate. I advise you to stick to it and improve with your work. What the fuck? Watch, listen, and more importantly, gain practical experience. This is... A quick question. Is this fall of porcupine? It is. It is. I... That's what I said. That's what I said. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm a fucking porcupine in this game. Because that's why I did the fun... F the title of the fun f pack of like, do you know that porcupines cannot throw their quills, but they're great doctors? But no, I'm a fucking pigeon. It fucked my entire like little whatever it's the town it is it's ugh. who knows there might be a surprise yet okay i have another task for you i'm giving you the opportunity to save me from time and get to know the hospital a little bit better okay all right sure what can i do i need you to go to the lab in the basement just to keep just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom and the doors on your right mm -hmm. but you can also take the elevator if you like I've sent some blood samples to Mr. to Dr. Holly. 
and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's... Let's all keep our fingers crossed, then. Off you go. I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Holly. Got it. Understood. Cut didn't read deeper... I... What? Look. The best games that I've ever played are the ones that I've never looked into, never read one lick of a review. And sometimes I've gotten burned. Absolutely, I've gotten burned that way, too. But, like... What the fu- Why wouldn't you assume that you're the porcupine? But I guess the fall of porcupine could also be the, the town's failing. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know. Not that I blame her for her excitement. Oh, I'm- I'm she they- I'm a she they. We're- I'm she theying. Also, also, I want to ask a question. Uh, because, you know. I want to improve. I I feel like I need to restart on some of my my streaming shit. So I'm wondering if would people like it if their pronouns came up on stream, like like those cool pronoun bubble things that would come up, or like do you like that the chat is very tiny to the corner, without all the pop ups and stuff. So you're like, you know, I don't know. I, I've been fooling around with it because we can't do it when me and Meg are streaming together because we use multi chat and we can't use that like program to do that. So I'm going to have to switch from multi chat to my regular chat when I stream by myself. But like, you know, just wanted to bring up the idea of it. It, it says fall porcupine. Why wouldn't I assume that I'm not the porcupine? Why am I assuming that I'm the pigeon? I didn't even look at the I didn't even look anything. I, I looked nowhere for this information. Oh, we're in the basement. Oh no, this is ground zero. Oh no, ground zero is the basement. Can I have this door? What's this door? Oh, this is more stairs? Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is... Oh. Locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? Yes. That. Uh, yes, I see it. Good. Good. Excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I, I see the red light. A red light usually means something very busy. Prohibitive. Negative. No accidents. Or simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. K. Dr. K, is it? I see. Well, it does alter the perimeter somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not really sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Oh, no. Oh! Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? Uh, what do you think? You see the green light, don't you? Okay. Dick. Oh, I'm not sure. Ah, I'll think about it. We'll see how it goes. I might put it up there. Might not. We'll see. Could have been more. Oh, oh, there's a mole. I love that. All right, here I am. Whoa. What are you doing in here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fan fascinating. And I, and, and what? The light was a green. Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results somewhere around here. Okay, mole person? You're not doing... Uh, okay. Alright, you know what? Now where were we? Ah, uh, yes. The documents request to, should be... Uh, did you keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Save time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know? The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distance between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts out on sorting and filing work too. And now, you too can benefit from the fruits of my dilig diligence. Well, if that's all... Okay, yeah, just give me the... Do not crack them. Uh, oh no, the horror. What a mishap. That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right and 
I'll, I'll be all right again in no time. Oh, uh, what was me? Can I help you? What do you mean? Do you want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Okay. That okay. Just just a minute. Why why do the samples have different colored lids? That my dear doctor. That's my sorting system. It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's easy as pie. The mole man is having a time. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. And each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of these samples... I see a head pats. Is Void here? Hi, Void! How are you? Thank you for the head pats. Thank you for getting a cup of tea. Have a cup of tea. Relax. Hang out while we play Fall of Porcupine. Some of the samples fell out due to an accident. Others have gotten turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the colors are facing the same way. When four samples are positioned correctly, they make a single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples have fell out of the slot. Uh, it's quite simple. Okay. Um, okay. Sure. That You're very smart. Yeah, thanks. I definitely have the brain cells for this. Yeah, uh-huh. Let, okay. Okay. Use the samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Use the LB and RB to rotate the flask. The flask can be in the correct position. Use A. That fell out. So if I put it... Oh. Oh. Oh, I understand. Red and green... No, that doesn't work. Green and green. Wait, does this make sense? Ever okay, wait. Can I, okay, can I read? Um, I was not paying as much attention as I probably should have been. Cause I thought something different from what this is. Can I have the instructions again, maybe? Did I just quit the game? Just got home from D Dungeons and Dragons. How's your day? Great. I'm doing... Oh, fuck. I have to do the entire cutscene. Oh, well, it gives me the... Gives the instructions. Hey, we're going to fucking fly through this right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, how was that? How was Dungeons and Dragons? Did you have fun? Did you enjoy yourself? Did you die? We're gonna we're gonna read those instructions this time. We're actually going to we're actually going to read them. We're gonna read them. My brain is fried, dude. I that entire si si situation just blew my brain. I don't. Okay, come on, come on, let's go. Hurry up, uh, pigeon. Let's just keep going. Nope, nope, no reading. We're not reading this one. Nope. It went good. Went level two to level four in one session. Hell yeah. I pocketed a fireball bead before the party realized they're realized totally they're going to shoot at the enemy as damage as a ranger. Oh, that sounds fun. Thanks for the head pats. That sounds like you had a fun time. Okay. All right. This is, this is where we had to pay attention. All right. Everyone. Sure. Cuts down. On, yeah. Right. That's all. He knocks it over because mole person can't see. I'll be right again. What do you mean? You want to help me? Okay. That's my sorting system. It looks complicated. Okay. On the contrary, it is easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident, understood? Some of the others got turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until 
all the facing colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they make one single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right one, you'll be able to see where the samples fell out and put the slots in. It's quite simple. It was not simple, but, you know, we're, we're going to try again. So all the squares need to be matching. L, B, A, correct. Understood. So, okay. In my eyes, this is how blue... Blue? Blue? Like, all the blue is facing the blue? Is that, like, how this is supposed to go? Oh! Oh! Okay, 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 alright, okay, we need a yellow one. Okay, 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 all right. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, that doesn't match, apparently. Okay, let's put that away. What about this one? Okay, alright, okay. This is red. Oh, okay, okay. What the fuck do we do in the middle? Oh, it's supposed to be like... Oh no. Oh no. How what do we do with these then? I think everything needs to be a square. Which one do I pull out? Do I pull this one out? Okay, that's no, I want I can't remember the ones that I put in. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we know this is... That's kind of broken. Okay. And this is kind of broken. We know that this is supposed to be red over here. This is all blue. We know that this is blue 100% because we can't move everything out of there. So, okay. All right. And this is supposed to be green. But what do we do with these, like, line? Like, what do we do with this? This doesn't even have red, so I'm assuming there's no red there. Okay, that's blue. Okay, all right, okay. That's not red. Understood. Maybe this is yellow. No, there's not even a yellow on there. What about this one? What about this is yellow? Nope, okay, all right. Well, we know that this is, this, this, that doesn't work. Okay. All right. Okay. Because I think we're supposed to... Yes, I want the advice. Please, God, give me any advice. Anyone who wants to back to game on this part, let's go. That sound doesn't... No. That doesn't exist. Okay. All right. No, because it's supposed to match up with... Oh, this is supposed to be yellow. First column, third tube. First column, third two. Yeah, with the orange. Orange is supposed to, oh, okay. And then green. Should 
Shouldn't that work though? Because it's red? That makes a square? Oh, okay. Don't worry about the tubes. Got it. Oh, just do the squares. Just do the squares. Right. Okay. Okay. Alright, done. Now I worry about this shit. Okay, maybe just not. Uwu. I. Isn't that what it could do, red and blue? Thank you for the uwu. No. Uwu. Thank you, David. No. 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 Maybe it's another one. Maybe it's like. Because it's supposed to be yellow and green. No, no. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. The brain cells are firing at all. Oh no, because it needs to be orange. Red and orange need to be together. There it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, this one doesn't have a yellow. Done! Did it! Heather! You're a god! Heather is a god! Do -do 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 -do. Let's go! Uh, Ayo, did I miss you? No, I did not add any Your more model outfits. I just did one of my favorite ones in the last year of me streaming. So, I did it. Dude, good. Thank you for the head pads. Thank you for the cheers. Thank you for the goo. Hi, Wolf King. Oh my god. I can't believe I did it. I can't. Thank you, Heather, for all that uh, for all that effort. My system is infallible. I could tell you a lot of things about that system. Thank you for your efforts. I had better get back to my work. Can I have the blood samples? Um, Dr. Holly? Was there something else to your doctor? The results for Dr. K? Oh, right, right, right. Why didn't you say? You know I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Bitch. Oh! We got it. Hello, tiny... Get out of here! I'm not at bottom. And I definitely don't have a tiny bottom. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Did you like my drum sound? Did it sound like a drum? Was that funny? <laughs> Please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear one's think, don't you know? Yeah, sure. Okay. Bye, Mr. Holly. Meg's not here, so you're at the bottom now. Wow. Meg needs to get her butt back. Let me tell you. Oh, there's more stairs. Oh. The hospital archives. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper of the smell anything goes by. That and the 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Look how shiny the floors are down here, though. That's fucking shiny as fuck. Do I go up the... You know what? I'm just... I think I'm going to try to stay away from the elevator. I think that's where I'm emotionally at. Let's go try to find Dr. K. You know, usually when I call her name, Megan shows up. And now she's not, and I'm a little upset. I think we were on the third floor. Yes, we were. Oh, Megan. I miss you. Here is your blood results. And why did it take so long? Did the bus to the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Khalid sort out his samples. 
You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Ali here tending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day, take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a little bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of your shift. And try to concentrate a little bit more on administrating your treatment. I got a B! The f other fucking person got a C! Fuck you. God. Shit. Thank you for the head pats. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm a little mad by fucking Dr. K. Oh, butter dog. Dog with the butter. Thank you for the hydrate. I love how angry he walk. <laughs> oh, are we going to do the cool transition? Bye, Ingrid. Have a nice day. Oh, we did. Oh, we're kicking a piece of paper. Yee, I've been work lurking. I love the lurk. I lurk 90% of my time on Twitch. Oh, it's like fucking dark as shit out. All right, this is a little little scary, a little spooky. This is jump scare time, I think, maybe. I got places to be, people to fuck, let's go. I gotta go back home. Oh! Jesus Christ. Is it the big plot change for Mr. Bird? I don't really know what's going- oh! Hello. This evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air is still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Oh, how wonderful. Well, oh. I feel like the need to say something profound. I think I'll resist the urge, though. Should have been mercy. Should have been. Okay. That weird truck is still. What the? Take it easy now. I don't want any trouble. I should probably leave. Jesus Christ. Is this the turning board of Mr. Bird where everything changes? I don't know. It started off as a dream that we were like hallucinating an incident that happened with Hello Mr. There. Hello! Uh. Mr. Whoever, the old guy. Can't remember his name. And then we went to work. And everything was fine. And now it's nighttime. And are we gonna get nightmares tonight? I don't know. Hello? Nope. Can't talk to you. Ooh. What do you want, Pip Squeak? Can't you let me smoke here in peace? Uh, hey, I know you. You're the one of the hospital gang, aren't you? One of those little busybody pals. You mean Carl? Yes, that's the one. He needs to be he needs to keep away from me. Tell him that for me, okay? All right. Didn't even tell me your name. Can I go in? Probably full float. Yeah, but I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a drink. Who knows? Who knows what tomorrow is gonna bring? Thank you for the head pats. Oh. Dude, every time I flirt, it's flirt float. Every time I float. Thank you, butter dog. How's editing going? Is editing going well? Thank you. We love a head pat. We love a good head pat. Head pat means you're doing a great job. I support you. I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep trucking on. Oh, the bike. I think th this is my house. I can't wait to flop into bed. Oh, let's just, let's explore a little bit more. Let's just see. Let's just see. It's going ahead to the gas station just for a little bit and I'm about to finish up clipping everything down. Oh, it's exciting. 
I know, I need to actually edit, edit, not just like, you know, clip out all the just chatting parts and put it up. I did put up two YouTube videos today, which I was pretty excited about because I haven't done that in a long time. I think I got a VOD up and I got Nova Lands up today, which I'm pretty fucking hyped about. Um... And then we did uh, a little bit of a TikTok stream for Crab's Champion. I want to kind of edit that and put it up. And then once I'm done with this, I also want to put this up. Good night, world. I actually need to put up a TikTok. I can't remember the last time I actually put up a TikTok. Because the last TikTok that I put up, it was a... I already did it. Like, I, that was like a re... re-upload. Go! Good. More. Ning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Eh? I'm on top of the world. Eh? That's what I would have said right now if I were kind of the guy who cheers himself in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And lucky I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time. And that's a huge success by myself, by itself, if you ask me. Hell yeah, Finley! Got rid of that awful band-aid, too. Almost seven, seven years of medicine, and I finally take off a band-aid without hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. You do, Finley! You do! You're doing great, Finley. Quick change. Oh, right. This is the door. I'm gonna start uploading my VODs, I think. Oh, you should! Oh. Hey. Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend? Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just worked on different schedules. P but put it this way. If you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. Fuck yeah. You have a productive day now. Thank you! What's your name? Alfio. Oh, lit. I love it. Ah! I have blessed you. Glitch. I have blessed. Bless. Blessings. All around blessings. I'm not consistent enough for TikTok. I'm also not consistent enough. I know I should put up a lot more than I do. Eventually, I will get back on the TikTok grind. I think we're really, or me and Meg are kind of focusing, or like hyper focusing on getting our shit up on YouTube and streaming up on YouTube because putting all the eggs in one basket has fucked us um, a lot. So I think we're just trying to get in the, in the habit of doing that and try to work on that. Yo, and also streaming on TikTok. I know that's not like... Uh, you know. Because Meg tried to stream a few months ago on TikTok. They gave her, like, the beta version of it. She streamed twice, and they took the beta version away. And now I think it's open to, like, anyone who has more than a 1,000 followers. Uh, and we don't want it to be ripped away from us. So we're, I think we're going to try to stream at least 30 minutes a week on TikTok as well. <sighs> it's a lot weird i heard you're supposed to post two times a day when i was more consistent on tiktok they said the best whatever is three times a day and i could never hit that schedule because i wasn't making content like way in the future because you know every day was a struggle to make content and then i was also trying to edit youtube videos and try to be like this big youtube thing and i burned myself out very quickly Surprise, surprise, surprise. I burned myself on to, uh, uh, on everything. But, um... Uh, what the fuck? And then, uh, we took, like, a three-week break. And we were like, this is obviously not gonna help us out any way further. So, uh, we're just trying to be more consistent on Twitch. And then try to take one stream on YouTube a month and, like... You know, try to do TikTok at least for 30 minutes. <sighs> I don't know if you know this for Twitch, 
but I heard they're updating their policy where if you stream on Twitch, you can't stream anywhere else at the same time due to contracts. I thought they said that they weren't doing this anymore, but I heard different things. I thought... I thought it was, like, you can't multi-stream. Like, you know how people, you could see on TikTok a lot, especially TikTok Live, like, they're streaming a game, and they're also live on Twitch. So they're using the same, like, uh, monitor display on both TikTok and Twitch, but on TikTok they're just like, hey, come to my Twitch and I'll shout you out, blah, blah, blah whatever the fuck, right? Uh, but I don't, now they're working around the system because I see a lot of people and even VTubers I'm kind of starting to see start to happen where it's like the t the phone is only looking at the model and the model is talking but they're not looking at the game display and they're on TikTok live you'll see like reading you know I'm on Twitch blah blah, blah you should come see me so it's not they're not reusing the same content you know, they're not using the same, like, gaming display. And I think that's, like, the workarounds, maybe? Question mark? I don't really know, because I have never multi-streamed like that. I haven't really looked at, like, had my model on TikTok and not streamed only on TikTok and only on Twitch. Because I don't think my computer can run two different streaming programs at the same time. You live across the street from here, right? I do. Yes, that's right. Can I help you? Oh. Oh. That was weird. Are you the guy who always who always stuffs his garbage full of yogurt cups? No, sorry, I never. I never even eat yogurt. What is happening with the audio? I'm glad I'm on the warpath. Audio? You you okay? Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can stuffed to the brim with yogurt cups, and as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are even half full. Okay. What what is happening? Is something being hit that it's not supposed to be being hit? game hey I'm just very quickly bring up task manager hold on it's not even that bad task manager task manager is really my CPU at 55 And all that. Okay. Next time it happens, we're going to restart the game. We're going to hit restart the game. If it happens again. So far, it's kind of like going for it. I'll never get rid of the cherry peach vanilla spell otherwise. Yeah, I took it from work earlier, but I'm not the world's greatest cy cyclist. I keep waiting for the fucking music to stop. And I think this is just like how the music is like that little beat do you know when the bus is coming any moment now i think where do you need to get to saint ursula's hospital oh you're one of those folks your garbage can smell are in a class of their own i was at saint Ur ursula's earlier this year slipped disc oh i fucking hate slip disc do you know dr garuda garu garua hmm Gru I think I heard the name before, but I haven't met him myself. I haven't been there very long. Right, anyway, Dr. G is a good guy. Showed me some exercise. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him Ma Matthew says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? Um, I'd rather walk. I get it. The weather's still nice. The exercise will do you very good. Uh, it's got, yeah, dude, all my videos are super long, even edited down. I was trying to do in the really earlier on yet again before the burnout 
really took hold. I was trying to do 12 minute long videos and it's, it's not worth it. It's really just not worth it. I don't think. Oh, I can talk to that bird. Hey bird. Hey, are you okay? Are you looking for something? Hello? Oh, trains are great, right? Oh, me too. Do you like trains? Yes, I love them. They're long and loud and fast. I wish I was a train. I also wish I was a train. Yeah, trains are cool. So you like trains too? Yes, I do. Wow. But do you know what trains can't do? Swim. That's why there's no trains here. Because this is water. Oh, and trains can't swim. Uh-huh. Sure, that, that works. I think trains should be able to swim. Then I can go anywhere by train. Like an island that's really sunny and stuff. Even though I don't like the sun that much. Not as much as trains. Wow. I love them, actually. Kim. Wow. Oh, cool. Uh. Dude, even action points. Like, I think I did that for the Halo games. And that. Sometimes, especially with story-driven games, it's hard just to do the action point. Because the story doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. You know? And that's what people are there for is the story on those type of games. Not like the, oh, can I talk to Sussy? Yep, I want to enjoy a walk a little bit more. You can see so much about going on the world on foot. New people, but familiar faces too. You can even get yourself a nice little breakfast and nibble on the park bench. Have you had breakfast ticket today? Yes, of course. I had be on form for my rounds. People are getting a lot of mail right now. Take the Colberts, for example. A lot of bills. I wonder what's going on over there. And Adele Von Wittenberg hasn't received any postcards for a long time. I hope her pen pal is okay. Oh, hold on. You read people's nail? No, no, not on purpose. Uh, honestly, I don't. It's just one of those hazards of being a postwoman. I'm pretty sure that's a federal crime, sussy. Okay. The style of this game reminds me of a bit of... The I literally picked this game up and I was like this reminds me of Night in the Woods and I didn't 100% finish Night in the Woods. Oh. And I was like fuck it. I'll try this new game and it does like, art style 100% reminds me of Night in the Woods. The gameplay kind of does too but there's more mini games in this game than in Night in the Woods. Thank you for the head pass. Oh my god Meg. Hi. Uh, are you here about the fountain? Whoa there kid. What are you thinking creeping up on me like that? I'm trying to compliment. Const complete. Oh my god. Sorry, what were you complaining? Complaining. Take a look for yourself. The old town's fountain's given up. Given up the ghost. Just packed the whole in the whole fountain game. No splish. No splash. No nothing. You're right there. Any ideas wrong with it? Not one. But we'll work it out. We only got a repair contract from the council today. The town normally turns off the well in winter anyways. I'm here. I love I have it muted. Oh, you have it muted. I love you, Meg. I love... Oh, boy. Love you, Meg. Okay. But they want to fire it again after the hibernation festival. We usually keep it running until then and then give it its winter break. But this year we have to fix it first. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you then. You better off using them to hold on and hope this old deer gets it up and running. Okay. Did I get a... No. He doesn't have a name. There's no name for the beaver. Dude, we're gonna... Okay. What the fuck? Get... F mm. Don't blame me. I had nothing to do to put myself in jail. There's nothing I did. I did nothing wrong. You're using your powers for evil. There you are again. Oh, thank you for the pets. I bet someone put an evil curse on you. The person who owned you before was plagued by misfortune. Their only escape was to leave you here. They fled the town, never to return. That's probably it. Right? Oh, I love Finley. He's a good little character. I hope, you know, I hope everything goes well for him. Do, 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 do. Do, 
Dude, do you think we're gonna do dressings again? Cause then I have to remember where all the buttons are one more time. Too many buttons to remember. Dude, amazing. Killing it. Okay. It's work time. I have Larissa's okay too. Change. Uh, hi Ingrid. Here he is again. Two days in a row without injury. You're getting good at this, kid. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being boy of the month. I'll be careful. How are things? Doing okay? Depends. Are you asking me or my back? Uh... You? Wonderful. A dream come true. I get up at four. Even the bakery isn't open yet. The coffee tastes like cold ashes. The damn bus comes once or twice a season. And I lost at bridge badly. Aw. You play bridge? I used to play with that with my granddad. He taught me. Ah, good memories. Huh. I hope you had a nice evening anyway. I was okay, I guess. But Biggie cheats. You heard it from me. She just can't lose like I can. Don't be a sore loser, kid. Even if Biggie is a miserable cheater. How's the situation? Pretty busy. You're on time today. Say, kid, you know your way around the hospital yet? Um, not well. I'm not surprised. Everyone gets lost here at the beginning. I mean, it's a hospital. I remember, you know, going to the hospital. You were always lost at the hospital. No matter how many times you go in there in a row. Let's start here. Right now, you're standing on the ground floor. It, it, no shit. Come visit me whenever you get a moment. I'm busy, but I never say no to a chat. The cafeteria is at the ground floor, too. Sir J is a pretty good cook, if you ask me. You can also get in the back entrance from here. That's where all the medical waste gets disposed of. Our ambulance and emergency vehicles are parked there, too. Sometimes people go out when they need some fresh air. Oh, hmm. Most floors have access to the stairwell and an elevator. The elevator will get you from where you need to go the quickest. If you're in a hurry, that's the quickest way to get it anywhere. You can also use the staircase to get out to get out to all the floors. Okay. But the bottom of the staircase is the basement. That's where the lab is. Yep, Dr. H yep, Holly's Quirky Kingdom. True, true, true. But you already met him, so I hear. I did. Our central document archive and storeroom was on that floor, too. All kinds of knickknacks down there. I thought knickknacks was with a K. That's where Gregor dumps all his junk. Administration's on the first floor. That's where you'll find Mr. Dr. Theobald and Mr. Hy Hydrich offices. The surgery's on the second floor. Everyone worships the ground Miss Dr. Lynn Wood walks on. The surgeon w with the uh, golden hands was recruited especially from abroad. Now he cuts folks open in our little town. Oh, wow. Dr. Portobello, I love him, and him love a good bicker. Same. I hope I don't have to tell you what's on the third floor. I'm pretty familiar with winding up with Dr. K. I mean, Dr. K is kind of sucks. Stay on a good time. You'll be top doctor in no time. I'll, I'll do my best. The floor above you is internal medicine. Number two. That's more for patients with private insurance. Dr. Greta and Dr. Kamala is pretty laid back. No bad thing. Considering how hard headed some of those folks are here. You'll find out the rest on your own. Thank you, Ingrid. You're welcome. It's never a bad thing to get to know the people around you. Take a look around when you have time. If there's an emergency, you need to know exactly where it is. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. You want to be in his good books. He's the chief, chief physician after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Okay, good thought. I'll go see him. Do you know where his office is? On the first floor. Yes, of course. His office. I know that. Is it on the ground floor? Oh, floor floor. I was right the first time. Thank you. Don't trip yourself up. First floor. First floor on the right. Ingrid is so sassy. Ingrid is like every secretary in any TV shows ever. Like Monster Inc. First floor. First floor on the right. On, on the right, this way. 
Oh, hydrates. Hmm. Or maybe he has his nose buried in some contracts. It's fine. This one? Dr. Theobald's office. We haven't had a chance to meet each other yet. Should I pop in and say hello? I'll knock. Hmm, maybe he's not in. Okay. You know, I tried. One moment, please. Oh. Shit. Come in. All right, let's go. Fuck. Oh. Wow, I love this painting. Is that a chicken leg? Is this a chicken? It is a chicken. The red thing, the, the beak. This is... Oh my god, is he a chicken? Please don't tell me he's a chicken. Okay, but why is this chicken sexy? Hey. Why is he sexy? Why are they sexy? Look at his eyes. Thank you. I need the hydrate. He's making me thirsty. Holy cow! Your penis is gigantic. Gigantic. Your penis is literally the biggest thing within the tri-state area. Look at his, like, little hair. Look at his little hair. I... Okay. All right. Let's talk. A very good morning to you. What can I do for you? Good morning, Mr. Doctor... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Theobald. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor, and I joined not long ago. Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. I'm also glad I'm stopped by. How are you doing so far? Settling in nicely? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting, but I, I'm getting along just fine. Thank you. Glad to hear it. It's a shame we're only just meeting now. I always like to welcome new faces. I'm sure that you'll do great work here. So, Finley, what brings you to good old St. Ursula's? Was it the views? Love, perhaps? Oh, yes, Dr. Theobald. I'm actually in love with you. Eh? You don't have to tell me. I just like to chat. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. I finished my degree in medicine and I wanted to start work straight away. Learned as much as I can and become a good doctor. And I studied in a big city. Spent all my life there, too. And I never lived in a place like Porcupine before. And I thought a small hospital allowed me to take on more important tasks. That and I thought the place was nice. How the... No one could see how sexy this chicken is? Uh, okay. Okay. Look look at the look at the hair. Look at the little like hair, the little hair on him. Look at it. And how he moves. It like does like the 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 hair physics. And look at his big eyes that he cares so deeply about, you know? Look at him. It's just it's just Okay, okay, but butter dog. Everyone thought Kovu was sexy, and I respect that, and I will not, I will not judge that. This chicken is as sexy as Kovu was. Okay, I'm gonna go put myself back in this corner. Yes, it's lovely here. It is lovely here. And how are you finding life in Porcupine? Well, it's different than I expected. I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Well, since it's not the kind of cock I go for. Look. I'm learning something new today. Just... Um. I think he's sexy. Hopefully I'll get a chance soon. Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finley. The day-to-day -day in the hospital isn't easy. The work can be very fulfilling. But also exhausting. Don't let it get you down. If you can do that, I can see you staying with us for a good long time. And if you need anything, please let me know. 
I do what I can to keep all of our staff happy. Which border do you work on? I, unfortunately, I no longer have time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the wards terribly, but my current position simply would, does not allow it. So why Sessicope then? Oh, this old thing? Yeah, I just like to keep it with me. I find it comforting. It brings me luck and it helps me feel like I'm still part of the team in such a small way. Was there anything else on your mind? Any questions, perhaps? Um. Is one of the best doctors I know. Don't let her get you down. I know you got what it takes. And Dr. K knows it, too. She just doesn't show it that often. Yeah, maybe that's it. Is there anything else? Not really, because Andres, it's fine. Uh, I think I'm, I'm good, but thank you. Off you go. I'm sure we both have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. We should do this again sometime. Have a nice day, Dr. Theobald. Oh, dude, do I have his number? Oh, nice. Uh... Ahem. <clears throat> I received that award last summer. It just so happens that you're standing in the office of a local mini golf district champion. And the books aren't that old either. Oh, he can hear me. Look, he has this in his room. And you're saying that he's not sexy? What the fuck? Oh, Big W. Good job. Good job for finishing editing. It posted because it's around five minutes and my other match is also around five minutes. Hell fucking yeah. Okay, let's go find Dr. K before she ha throws a fit. I'm learning something new today about yourself. Look, look. I feel like it's not that big of a deal. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think, I think other people would agree with me that he looks sexy. And it's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. Hello. See, she or they, they are not sexy. They're not sexy. This thing is not sexy. I'm looking at it's a bottom to a lot of things. Look, I'm not, I'm not a bottom. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your task for today has been activated on your app. Amazing. Downloading. We're downloading. Off my head, the only words I think are sexy are Rito. Rito, the chick. Yeah, the chicken from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, wow. We're going to different people today. Uh. Uh. Who did I find sexy in Breath of the Wild? I don't think I found anything. They're not chickens. I mean, they're birds, though. Oh, my God. The hydrates. All right. I drank. I drank. Thank you for the hydrates. Among other things, we're looking at an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Please make sure she's looked after, but don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Get to it. Okay, let's do 303 first. We'll do Clarissa first. If Tepe wasn't married with a kid, I swear. I The Grudos? I can't remember. From Breath of the Wild. Yet again. I did not finish Breath of the Wild, but the Gerudo woman from Breath of the Wild was it. How are you today? I'm pretty chill, Doc. Nice, nice. Just bored to death. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I, I get that. The nights can be long when you're in the hospital. Ain't that the truth? How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. Ha ha ha, but wait, which Gerudo woman? I can't remember her name, but it's the Guardian from, like, way in the past. Uh, 
But like also all when all the Garuda women can get it, first of all. I'll just give you a quick check over then. Sure, you need me to do anything? Just what you're doing right now, that's plenty. Alright, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just gonna listen to my lungs, right? Or are you gonna cut me open? I'm not gonna cut you open. I'm not gonna do it. It's okay. I don't want people looking at my lungs. I don't want to. Sorry, just turn a phrase. I'm only gonna be listening to your lungs. Don't you worry. Okay. Whew. Oh, we're doing... Okay. We're paying attention. Oh, fuck. 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 Okay. Are we like B plus territory? Okay, we're gonna pay attention because the fucking doctor is gonna rip my fucking ear off. Or Urbosa, yes, Urbosa fucking can get it. She can give it and she can get it. You know what I mean? Hmm. What is it, Doc? Your lungs haven't quite recovered fully yet. Is that bad? No, no, nothing to worry about. I just think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we should send you home tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. And believe me, it's better if we keep you in just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can you tell- can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot, too. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know, you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want you out of here as soon as possible, too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips on how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We've got tea and coffee, too. Ugh, coffee. That stuff is so bitter. But I'll take a look at that later. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day, we can do it. Yeah. Aw. I feel bad for Larissa. Okay, pills time for Miss Winter, Miss Martins, I think. Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I'm the same way when I can't sleep. I spend the whole night tossing and turning my problems over and over in my mind. Same, Finley. Same. Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now you mentioned it. It's feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll take make some adjustments to your dosages. Okay. Oh, wow. We're doing orange all the way fucking up. Done. Did it. Easy. That was easy. I got that. I think I got that puzzle down. Schmacked. Why is it a B? Why was that a B? I thought that was an A. You're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get the stomach ulcer under control. But to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done. I know. I thought that was pretty fucking fast. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. I've known it for a long time, but now I realize I do need to look after myself more. But how? This pill you're about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, doctor. I want this doctor. I want Finley to be my doctor. Thank you for the head pats. Finley is really nice. Very patient. Very loving. Maybe not great at timed events, but, like, honestly, I just need to have doctor with good bedside manner, really. Oh, hello. 
Oh, Julindo. Ju what are you doing here? Julino. Ju Finley, my friend. I brought my mother here this morning. May I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Oh, that's terrible. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this thing has happened to her. So I figured we better get a specialist to check her out. Yeah, all right. Let me take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I could do, Finley? Can you tell me what else happened uh, this morning? Oh, yeah, let's see. Me and Mom wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't have time to say hello properly before her legs gave away. She couldn't stop coughing, so we came straight here. Shame. I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce. Ooh, that sounds delicious. And a nice strong black coffee. Also delicious. Thanks. I think that will do for now. I'll take a look at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm going to go head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying about that old pub of yours. I'll call you later. Thank you for the hydrate. I like that. Aw, Irma seems nice. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. All right, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. It is a nice name. I kind of like Finley. How are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall. Can you smell it too? Yes, me too. The trees are turning these beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breath got very heavy. Such a waste of a beautiful fall air. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. And I reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs, my legs gave way and I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. The windows shook in all the houses. I see. That reminds me of a great story, but maybe that can wait for another day. Okay, I love Irma. I love Irma. I'm rather exhausted. All right, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make some new, uh, some notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get hold of my French toast. Just sit tight, and we'll get you out of here in no time. Ooh, God. Find the correct combination of symbols. The blue indicates that you got the right symbol, but in the wrong position. The green indicates you got the right symbol in the correct position. So blue and green. Blue and green. Okay. Leg. Stomach. Skull. Eye. Oh! Okay. Leg. S stomach. Heart. Okay. Shit. Oh, I should have known that. Um. Done. Did it. Did it. That was like a uh, wordle, but with fucking imaging. Oh, I got an A. Two B's and an A. I'll take it. Hmm. I see. What do you see? The symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage of pneumonia. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes. Better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad that you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to keep you as well. I'll get you as well again as soon as possible. I'll see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. I forgot what kind of puzzle it is, but it definitely tie the pre I agree. I just couldn't. I don't know what kind of puzzle it is. Finley. It's like, um, like Morse code. Like those, like, uh, like this symbols equal this thing. But it's, it's not that. I don't even know how I would explain it. You got a minute? Sure. What can I do for you? I know she's in a good hand with you. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back on her feet. 
I know, I know. I'll head out then. I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally, but I hate hospitals. This spell makes me... Me too. I hate hospitals. Then I guess we better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by any time. I will. Mastermind. A code-breaking game puzzle. Ooh. I love that. Hello. I'm done. Can I see that? All right, then. Let's see what you got for me. Not bad. I got a B. I got a smiley face, too. There's definitely room for improvement here. It's a smiley face. I can see that you're not completely talentless, but you clearly lack discipline. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but... The new patient. What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Miss D. Kalama is a very popular porcupine. I've known her for a very long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment, but don't neglect the others just because you think Miss D. Kalama is nice. Personal considerations should never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person, always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Miss D. Kalama as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Oh, God. Mm, I just... Oh, I can kind of see where this is going, right? And I'm already kind of sad about it. <laughs> hey, Mia. Ugh. Are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No, now that you mention it, I, have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I say it is. Let's do it. I haven't realized how hungry it was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote di diagnosis. Shall we go? Um. Yeah. Correct answer. Hurry up. Roaring with hungry. Is that even medically possible? They must hate you at the library. Finley. All right, all right, to the cafeteria. Uh, the cafeteria's on the ground floor, maybe? Hmm. That's the offices. I would assume the cafeteria's on the ground floor. No. Is this it? Oh, um. Hey, do you know where the cafeteria is, Ingrid? Asking for a friend? Oh, there it is. We nailed it. Nailed it. No. David. Don't bully me! I don't deserve it! Oh, hi! Oh, uh, what should I get? Hey, Lisa! Mia, hey, are you on break? Thank you for the hydrate. Who, Who is this you brought with you? Have we met? I don't think so. I'm Finley. David, how is the TTRPG? Are you still playing? Are you still doing stuff? No. Nice to meet you. I'm guessing you're on the internal medicine too. I don't think I could do I don't think I could do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the word. I can't decide what to eat. Oh, I don't. Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes sound delicious. Really? Yes. Sergey's is an amazing cook. With knife skills like that, he'll fit right in for surgery. I like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a moment to decide. All right, thanks. I want to bring up the phone. Oh, Lisa. Oh, I love it. Hi, Chris. Thank you for getting your cup of tea. Enjoy it while we relax and hang out. What can I get you, kid? Um, what do you got? Art, the finest cutlery culinary in town. Just choose your artwork prepared to be taken on a wild journey. Now that I don't want to pursue your personal taste, but I highly recommend the pineapple wrap. 
sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb, lettuce, and pickled artichoke hearts. I fucking love pickled gar artichoke hearts. Mmm. A gourmet delight. So go on. What will be? What would you like, Mia? Hmm, I don't care. You pick something, I'll just eat about anything right now. Okay, I would like... <laughs> Pasta cum. Ha 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 ha. Sesame sorbet, tomato tart, ravioli with mascalonka sauce, the sea salt mold. Um, what the fuck? Molisky, the ravioli, tomato tart. Uh, we're gonna have to do the cum one, right? We're gonna have to do the cum one. Oh, we're all of that. Sorry. My dishes are just too popular. Can you get you something else? There's no cum? Okay. It seems like they're trying to get us into the pineapple wrap. What about this? All of that, of that. Sorry. My dishes are just too popular. I'm upset that we can't get the cum one. Ah, the pineapple wrap. I see that you're a doctor of good taste. Fun enough to teach to both of you. Enjoy. Why no cum? Why no cum? How was it? I mean... Oh, fuck. I hit the button too soon. Whoops. To be honest, I can't stand pineapples, but I didn't want to complain. There was nothing else. There was literally nothing else. But I actually meant work. How's it going for you? We both started here just a few weeks ago. And I just realized that we haven't even talked about our experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To so reflect on yourself, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my parents always said. True, somehow we haven't had the chance yet. You're done? How was the TTRPG? Did you like it? Give me cum or give me death. It's fucking bullshit. I love the illusion of choice. Thanks, game. Thanks for not allowing me to have the cum option. But I got a pineapple with, I don't even know, artichoke hearts. That sounds awful put together. I love pickled artichoke hearts. I fucking hate pineapple with pickled artichoke hearts. That sounds all I, in a wrap. True, somehow we haven't had the chance yet. Well, I think I like St. Ursula's. I don't know what that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff here are really nice. That's true. But Dr. K can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's really been eating me alive too, but I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute and you're already here ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Is everything okay? You don't have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. No one fucking likes the wrap. No one likes the wrap. That's why it's only there and the cum is gone. Keep your fruit out of my non-dessert. I'm fine with like the appetizers of fruit, you know, or like a snack of just a fruit platter. I don't really like fruit in stuff that's non-dessert. I'm fine with a grilled pineapple on the grill, but like, I don't want it on something. I just want to eat it. This sounds awful in a wrap. What the fuck? Does it even have people have it in wraps? Who does it? Is everything okay? You don't have to eat. Yeah, no one's gonna eat the fucking wrap. Well, I. Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. You too. How do you like Sergi's cuisine? Pretty good so far. Is it good? Yes, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When the staff is happy, I'm happy too. Okay. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time, so I was hoping I could make it to you now. My name is Ronan Roman Hydrich, the executive director of St. Ursula's. I try to keep things running as smoothly as I can, and to fulfill the wishes of our dear chief physician, Dr. Theobald, and of the court of the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. That's how it's always been and how it always will be. I thought I just heard my cat crying. The two of you are new here, and I wanted to impart the information to you personally. Especially since some of you have a difficult start. Namely me. Apples and salad. Ah! 
I'd rather have raisins in a salad. Or craisins? I'm fine with that. I'm not really a big fan of apples to begin with. If I was picking any fruit, apple would be like the bottom of the list to eat. I don't blame you for the incident with Mr. Arndez. You probably knew when mistakes happen. I see no ill intent to your actions and only wanted what was best for the patient. So much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we've had to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country and hopefully he'll ho where he will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyways, enough of such matters. Let us look into the future and continue making St. Ursula's Hospital a place to, of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Okay, awkward. Alright, time for me to go. Bye! Do you, No. No, thank you. I saved my appetite oh, some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meals and your work. That was weird. The only apples I like are golden delicious and it's yellow hybrids. I like, um, pink ladies, I think they're called. Maybe? I like those. That was interesting. You could say that again. Are you done? I am definitely am now. Let's get back to the ward again. Mr. Hydra's right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. Oh, but you were just talking about your issues. Ma'am, do you wanna do you wanna talk? This wab tastes here, does it? How does it how do you mean? I'm not sure. I love pineapples, but something's off. Hmm. Are you on medication right now? Yeah, a few different kinds actually, but I'm afraid I can't remember the names. I see. Well, I'm not only one just to blindly throw diagnoses around, but it could be that drugs are affecting your taste buds. Really? Yes, that could happen. Hmm, okay. Alright, we're just gonna leave him here. Bye. I don't like- I don't really like, like, uh, Red Delicious. It's the same thing I don't really like heirlooms to tomatoes. I'd rather have cherry tomatoes. Uh, at this point, I don't know. Red apples are kind of, like, overrated. In my opinion. Same kit. Oh! Man! Are you serious? You piece of trash? Hello? Who's that? Where's that coming from? The elevator, maybe. Well, we should check. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is someone in there? The smaller, like, I don't like red apples. I think they're overrated, overrated. And I also think, yeah, the heirlooms is like overrated. Don't really like heirloom tomatoes. I just like bite-sized pieces of stuff. So if I can find something that's a bite-sized piece, I'm taking that a hundred percent over the larger, the larger portion. Like chicken nuggets. I'd rather have a chicken nugget than fucking a chicken breast. You know? I just want something bite sized at all times. Hello, is there someone in there? No, the hospital just installed one of those new talking elevators. Wow. The damn door's stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? We need to help him. Yeah, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can open the door. Gregory the old fart? He's the reason I'm stuck in here in the first place. If he touches the elevator, it'll probably blow up. I'm gonna wring his neck. Do you want help getting out of there or not? Yeah, I guess. I just gotta come from surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bungler sulking around. Alright. Finley, you gotta go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to our ward and stay on call if anyone needs anything. Good plan. Thank you. Dude, we're going. Okay, I get it. Gregor's our only hope. But does that mean I have to like it? But I guess I can't get the door open without the gauze band-aids and IV fluids. And I'm starving. Please don't eat any medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You mean you tried it? Look, night shifts can get pretty long, okay? Just hang in there. I'm going to look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. All right, I'll go fetch him and be right back, okay? Hurry up. The walls are closing in on me. 
Understood. Dude, if we had baby apples, I think I would change my fucking entire life. I'd be eating so many fucking apples. And you're probably asking, Kit, why don't you just cut up the apples? Isn't it the same thing? It's fucking not the same thing. And you know it, and I know it. I think it's on higher than the third. This is ours. And I think surgery is number four. It's not the same thing. And cutting up apples and having them with peanut butter or Nutella or like all that, it doesn't, it doesn't help. I just want a small, tiny baby apple. That's it. Okay, Gregor is not on this side. Let's try the other side. Gregor? Gregor? Mod check, Gregor? Okay, maybe he's not- oh, is it- no. Okay, maybe the fourth floor is not surgery. What is surgery? Because I think the fifth floor is like the danger no-no floor, right? Yeah, it's the danger no-no floor. Third floor is our floor. I thought second floor was internal, med internal medicine two. Oh, no, it's not. This is surgery. Gregor, there you are. What's up with that blasted light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't give me the time of day when everyone's ru everything's running smoothly. But one flickering light or one squeaky door. It's Gregor, this, help, that. Mr. Glendower is the elevator stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can't you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Head over there and switch the breaker on when I give you the signal, okay? But one thing at a time. After this, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor, ain't I? Okay. Hey, is it on this side, do you think, the fucking breaker? Because he didn't say the end of the hallway. He didn't say which side. Oh, that's surgery. Hmm. Nope, not fucking this way. I should always just assume the left side of the fucking hallway is not the way that they're talking about. Oh! Hi! What brings you here to surgery? I'm looking for Gregor the janitor. Oh, Glendy, I like him. As it happens, he's here. I think he's fiddling around with some light or another. What do you need from him for? He doesn't like when people distract him. Someone's stuck in the elevator. The doors won't open. My goodness, this hospital does really have a life of its own. Well then, don't let me take you up any more of your time. Good luck, Finley. Okay, bye. Bye, bitch. Look, I'd love to talk to you, but let me just at least get to the breaker. Oh, breaker. Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes. All right. Wait a minute. Put this here, fiddle around here. That should do it. Okay, now. Ah! Oh no, everything's all right? I'll just, I'll just take a quick look. Oh boy, did we just kill Gregor? Hi, sorry, dear thing. Antelope. Oh! Smoking. Mr. Glendower, are you alright? <clears throat> yeah, I'll live. Take more than a little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment, all the same? Baloney. You want to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. And I've still got it. Will you help me now? Help! Oh, your elevator thing. Give me one moment. I'll need a quick break and then we'll take a look. What fucking... Br There's a guy stuck in an elevator. I'll call the fire department. Oh, finally! I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again. I should probably have known. Carl, it's you. I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that voice sounded familiar. Huh, what? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic sound of your favorite colleague 
I'll try to burn it in my memory for future use. Anyway, I'm glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh, yeah, right. Freedom! Yeah, that sweet, sweet scent. I thought I was going to die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are a good buddy. Oh, well, thank you. I owe you one. You better. Gregor, you old bungler. It's your fault I got stuck in there. And now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. Okay, bye. Err. One of these days... Are you alright? What? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm just short on time. I already l had loads to do today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It's theirs only for me for now on. Should help me f get fit, at least. I think I can help you. You could clone me, or take a second job as a nurse, or buy a new elevator. All good options. Right? All right, enough chit-chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. And you need to get back onto the ward. You know how Krotsky is by now. This team is probably coming out of her ears already. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Laters. I love Carl. But what about the boxes? I guess he'll sort it out. I really should get back to the ward now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fuck. I miss, almost missed the stairs. I love jumping up the stairs. Hey, now we know two is surgery. Three is our ward. Oh, God, my arm hurts. Here I am. Did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? It took you quite a while. Who was in the elevator? It was Carl. Haha, <laughs> typical. Have you seen Dr. Krotsky? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there when the evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break, though, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know if I'm clocking off, and then I can finally relax for the evening. You do that. I'm going to do some sports. You can join me if you want. It'll be fun. That's not a bad idea. I'll think about it. Sports? Did you say sports? Why? Dude, sometimes this game is just not... Okay. Got it. Okay, great. This is great. Break room, break room, break room, break room. I think break room literally was on the left side. I'm gonna be pretty pissed if it is. Bathroom. It was. The first time I didn't go fucking left and it had to be the left side. Ugh. Okay. Fine. Fine. P31, P32, P33. Should be the break room coming up. Absolutely. Let's go. Okay. Break room. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about, or two even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot on your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job, like everyone else here does. Your average performance isn't enough to make up for your constant absences. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing these things out. I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they also might be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was, I know. And I also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need you. I need to make sure that we're clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as you sh I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. Okay, I understand where sh they're coming from. I do understand what they're coming from. But I'm literally helping other people on the hot. Could you just? Can I just leave Carl there? I couldn't just leave Carl. Unbelievable. Could have been Marcy. Could have been a top support. All right. We're going home.
Bye, Ingrid. It's quick change time. Pardon? Oh, there you are. You gonna come down the sports court with me? I wanna get some exercise in tonight. Um, sure, I'll come with you. All right, come on then. Race you to school if you insist. Great. On your marks, get set. Go. Oh no, is that Dr. Krawski? She looks angry. What? Go. I, I think I was facing the wrong way. The flat car is still here. I wonder what kind of sports. And I wonder if it's a mini game. I hope it's baseball. I would even take pickleball. Never played it before, but I know it's very like becoming very famous. This is a big fucking hell. Holy fuck. The hospital's on a hill? That sounds awful. Do I go up or down? Up or down? Up and down? Up and down? Up and down? Up and down? Oh, it's just lookout. Okay. This is make out cliff or whatever the fuck. Whatever in the movies. This is where they do it. All right, down we go. Dude, I hope I don't have to go all the way around to go home. Oh, there it is. There's a sports. Oh, it's a basketball? Almost went the wrong way. Fuck me. Oh, you look cute. Oh, that, what's happening here? Hmm, what do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic is where I used to work, had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I hereby present it to you. Nice. So, do you want me to join? That's the plan. Today, we're taking, we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? Absolutely. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest, but I always got the baskets. Alrighty then, looks like I chose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? Pass that ball. That's what I wanted to hear. Here we go. Alright, okay, alright. What's the, what's the quick, oh. Wait, hold E? Wait, I'm on a controller. Nice. Oh, fuck. Nice. She fucking lost. Killed it. Killing it. She fucking bumped my ball. Don't bump my ball. See, I I could do this game. I could do this game all day. Oh, I went a little over. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. This is it. This is the game. This is what I was made for. Don't buy my ball. Fucking killed it. You suck. Hell yeah. Oof. You really showed me. I absolutely I fucking did. Look at the head pass. I fucking killed it. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you were just caught me on a good day. The last time I played basketball was at school. Oh, when I started a team in Porcupine, you could you have to join me. Absolutely, fucking lutely I will. That's the mini game. That's my mini game. Haha, <laughs> okay. So, Finley, how do you like it here? 
Not just work in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get known to the crown yet. I haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out of action for a little while. It seems a bit like I started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're already but you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you got along with everyone here. And it doesn't feel like I don't know any- And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a little bit lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school, even at university, I struggled to meet people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Oh, this is such a conversation I would have. Totally. Funny, I feel the same way as you, actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had much free time so far. But when I do, I never had the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I've made up my mind not to be bogged down in work. I want to make sure I always have some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. Oh, God. I'm sure we'll find friends here. And whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will, but that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving and I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes all right. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But you- I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. Bye. That was a lot of fun. Dude, I got a fucking achievement that says pump up the jam. Play basketball with Mia. Fuck yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Hi, fan. Holy heck, 11 months. Fuck yeah, 11 months. Oh. Hi, fan. How are you? Evening there. Aren't you cold? I'm all right. Emergency shelter won't take me in. Been drinking. They don't like that here. Helps with the weather, though. The boredom, too. But I'll get it under control. Come first snow. You'll see. Alfio Mertens always gets it under control. You take care now. You hear? I will. I will. Feel like I'm making another investment? Prices are about to boom. Scott's honor. Yeah, I'll invest. Here you go. I thank you. You won't regret your investment. Take care of yourself. You too. The night will be over before you know it. Oh, I feel bad for Alfia. Fan is in the house. Fan, how are you? How's things? Thank you for subscribing for 11 months. I'm glad that you're here. Good night, world. I'm tired. How are you? I'm also tired. Oh. I like the nighttime music. That was cute. I'm also really tired, honestly. My apartment's a mess. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyway. That's how I feel about life. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent layer of chaos at all times. Fuck yeah, Finley. Fuck yeah. Meh. I should put on my laundry away at least. Otherwise, I'll end up lying around all week. I hope my lazy future self appreciates this. Right, can I go around and pick up the furniture, the thing? Oh, I can. Oh. Perfect. Clean. Uh, however, I think that I'm going to call it for tonight. Uh, because I'm actually tired. I think it's time. And I also want to see my cats because I miss them. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you really like, uh, I hope you really like, well, oh my, I need to change the mirror real. I need to, I'm okay. We're finally in, in this, the right motion of my head. Uh, uh, I hope everyone liked Fallout Porcupine. I want to play it again sometime soon. 